All right, sumo fans, this is it. This is the big match. <clears throat> Who are you rooting for? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, are you rooting for that man? Teru no Fuji, the Yokozuna. Do you want to see him bounce back after being out for four tournaments with a U show? Because if he wins this match, it's all over. He does have to fight tomorrow, but it doesn't matter if he wins or loses tomorrow. If he wins today, he cannot be caught because he will give the only man with two losses in the tournament, Kiribayama, his third loss by beating him and therefore claim the Emperor's Cup one day early. Uh, I don't think we've had that happen in a while. I feel like we've always gone down to day 15 recently because, you know, so many different people have been winning the U show. Uh, it's always been much more contentious. And, of course, he could win with a 14-1. and one. And I don't think we've had a 14-1 and one championship in a while either. Some of you may be like, yes, we did, Jason, just three tournaments ago. But, uh, my memory. Um, but, yeah, let me know if, if that did. I, I don't think we had a 14-1 and one last year, did we? Uh, but let me know if we did. <clears throat> um, but, anyway, that's all just uh, speculation because Kiribayama would love to seal his promotion to Ozeki, not only by beating the Yokozuna here, because he already beat the Ozeki, but by winning the Yusho. And not only that, by winning back-to-back Yusho. Because, of course, he won the March tournament. Now, some of you are asking, well, hey, when you win two tournaments in a row, don't you become a Yokozuna? Uh, yes, if you're an Ozeki. You have to be an Ozeki first uh, before you can be promoted to uh, Yokozuna. So even if he wins this second tournament in a row, it's just a feather in his cap, and uh, he, he it would not get him promoted to uh, Yokozuna. Now, uh, hmm. yeah, I don't even know. I've, historically, if he won his third tournament in a row in July, and he was now an Ozeki, would they go, okay, he's an Ozeki now. He won back-to-back -back tournaments. The first one was when he was a Sekewake. That might get him promoted. I, I, I honestly, I don't know. Somebody knows. Somebody will leave a comment and tell me. Uh, but uh, that is, of course, you know, putting a lot of pressure on him. And, and the thing that happens, guys, if you're if you're newer to sumo, um, is uh, new Ozekis rarely perform well in their first tournament as an Ozeki. It happens, but most of the time, all the parties they have to go to, all the celebrations, all the glad handing. Uh, all the sponsors you have to say thank you to. Um, there's ceremonies and uh, press conferences. All that distracts from the training and, and the normal routine. And uh, they often, uh, you know, maybe celebrate a little too much than they should or something. And uh, often, you know, I'm not saying that he's, he's going to have a terrible tournament, but, you know, he might have a 10 and 5 or an 11 and 4. Um, and, and rarely does a new Ozeki win the U show, uh, and, or even, you know, like I said, have a, have a really good tournament. So, uh, yeah, uh, you know, we'll just have to see, but he is definitely going to be, uh, an Ozeki with Taki Keisho, who erased his Kadoban status in July. July happens in Nagoya, which is a city in central Honshu, the main island of Japan. And, uh, it's very, 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 very hot. Um, it's at an old gymnasium. They are building a new building that's supposed to open in a few years, but I think it got delayed by COVID. Um, and the air conditioning is just inadequate, and it's just super hot outside. And uh, it's not a, it's not a bus show I enjoy going to as a heavy person who sweats a lot uh, in hot weather. Um, but, uh, you know, if you're a younger person and, and or a skinny person, uh, it might be fun, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I've only been a couple times, and it's funny because I have a lot of friends in Nagoya, uh, but uh, yeah, I don't often go to that tournament, and it's just a bad time of the year, a lot going on at school as well. Okay, uh, what was the one other thing? Oh, uh, all the links are down in the description, so click the link if you want to see where you are in the contest, the public standings page. Um I'll probably do some kind of summer promotion for the merch store. That'll start in June. So if you're thinking about merch, maybe wait until June because I'll probably offer a discount uh, percentage or something. And I will just say again, uh, thank you to everybody that's gone by the tip jar. I haven't sent out any thank you emails yet, but I will get to it, I promise. 
And uh, again, if you do, uh, if you have enjoyed the coverage for this tournament, uh, finishing up tomorrow, and you want to send two dollars, three dollars, five dollars my way as a way of buying me a beer or uh, just saying thanks, <clears throat> um, there's a link down in there where you can go to PayPal and send a little money my way. And it does help out in this time where the exchange rate between the yen and the dollar is so terrible. So uh, uh, it helps me pay my overseas uh, commitments uh, that I still have in America because uh, that's where I'm from. Uh, okay, anything else? I think that's it. Obviously, I'll be back full coverage tomorrow, including the Jurio Championship. So come on back tomorrow, but here we go with this one. The final match of the day. ま、ここ That's a stack of envelopes. So, are they standing? Are people standing? I can't tell. Uh, but big applause from the crowd because they know what that means to Terano Fuji. And it just will be somewhat anticlimactic tomorrow, right? He won't do the interview and everything today, even though he won the U show. On NHK, sometimes they will bring him into the interview room, uh, but we're not on that channel anymore. Uh, and uh, so, you know, that's kind of his round of applause. He, of course, will, you know, get the cup and do all the prizes and everything tomorrow, uh, but we'll know ahead of time that that's going to happen. I think this is good for the sport. Do you guys agree with me? I think we wanted to see a, a revitalized Yokozuna. We wanted him to come back strong. He's going to finish with a 13-2 and two or a 14-1, and one, depending on his match tomorrow. If he fights Takakesho, I can't imagine that he'll lose. Um, but Kiribayama put up an amazing fight here. You want an Ozeki to challenge the Yokozuna to possibly, you know, be the winner even when the Yokozuna is doing well. And he absolutely, uh, nothing to be ashamed of here. Just valiant effort all the way. Fought right to the very last second. And, uh, you know, Terano Fuji was just better on the day. Uh, but you could easily see Kiribayama taking on Terano Fuji in July and winning a match. So uh, that bodes well for the sport, I think. And... Uh, I think it's good to have the Yokozuna back and winning. He hasn't won a huge, you know, he hasn't even been competing in like four tournaments. And then he had that tournament where he was only around for about four matches. And so he hasn't won a tournament in I think at least a year. Um, and so it's great to see him back and win a tournament. And uh, yep, Kiribayama did all he could. So congratulations to Terano Fuji. And of course, I still will have. Uh, pretty full coverage for you tomorrow. See where the Darwin matches end up. See what numbers Asanoyama ends up at. The Sekewake. Um, does Kiribayama cap it off with another with a win tomorrow? 
Um, we just don't know who's fighting who. So there you go, 13 and 1, 11 and 3. And uh, uh, some of you have been following Nato Sumo, and I recommend him a lot. His channel has been going away and coming back and going away and coming back. So just keep searching for it on YouTube if it goes away and you're looking for fuller coverage. Uh, he, he almost always brings it back. And he, if you follow him on Twitter, uh, that doesn't go away. So he always posts links to the new channel on Twitter when it gets taken down. I got a copyright strike from the Kyokai for a day one match. Uh, between Endo and Wakamoto Haru. Now, what is it, day 13 yesterday when I got the email? But it's not a copyright strike that can, like, take down the channel. It's just like, hey, this is our content. Uh, you don't get to make any money from it. Well, I never put ads on any single video ever that has match stuff in it. The only videos I'm putting ads on nowadays are my welcome video and my wrap-up video, or it's just me and my face. So... Uh, yeah, I'm like, okay, you can claim that video, um, but, you know, if I do get copyright strikes, I'll let people know, but, uh, yeah, they've left me alone this tournament, I think this Abema scheme seems to be working, and, uh, the channel is doing well, I think we're gonna pass 8,000 subscribers soon, so it has bounced back from, uh, the, you know, the loss of the original channel at the beginning of the year, so I'm very thankful to all of you for coming by and subscribing. And I think it's been a pretty fun boss show. Of course, it's not over. we still got an exciting finish in Jurio tomorrow. That's probably what I'm looking forward to the most now. And uh, some fun matchups, hopefully, when they're announced uh, in the top division as well. Okay, guys, take care. Have a good weekend. I'm going to go see Creed 3 tonight. It just opened in Japan yesterday. I'm a big fan of the Rocky movies and the Creed movies. So I'm looking forward. That's my uh, Saturday night entertainment for myself. So I hope you do something fun as well, and I will see you tomorrow on Senshuraku. Take care.